Okay. Good afternoon, students. My name is Andrea, and I will be um, helping in this session. Welcome to the Bookstore RAM Ready presentation. It looks like a couple of you might still be connecting to your sound, your audio. So I'll go ahead and just give it a few more seconds here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, again, like I said, my name is Andrea and I help co-host Ram Ready, which is your new student welcome. So if this is your first semester and you're a little worried about how to get started, what information you need to know, we hope by participating in this event, you'll be able to start the first uh, days and weeks of your semester being a little bit more prepared and alleviate any worries that you have about online learning. So just a quick reminder, our event runs from January 4th to January 7th. So this week we have a variety of live sessions, uh, one being the bookstore. So thank you for getting here. Tomorrow we have financial aid at 11 o'clock. And then on Thursday, we have a Canvas and Web Advisor tutorial uh, where you can actually um, see how to navigate Web Advisor, how to navigate Canvas, and how to be successful in using those platforms. Um, so we encourage you to join our Ram Ready webpage. That's at fresnocitycollege.edu slash Ram Ready. Take advantage of the self-guided um, presentation that is there for you. Go through all of the videos and resources. And then at the end of the event and at the end of the week, you'll have the opportunity to participate in our Canvas discussion board, our Canvas activities, and hopefully enter uh, for a chance to win a gift card. So make sure that you check out that web page and get familiar with all the resources on there. We also have a survey for you at the end of the week. So tell us what you liked, tell us what you want to see improved, um, and just give us some overall feedback so that we can incorporate into our next events. Um, this is put on by the College Relations Department. So our contact information is on our webpage. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Paul, who is going to be presenting for the bookstore. And if you have any questions during the session, you can post them in our chat and we'll go ahead and get um, to those questions for you, okay? Cool. Thanks, Andrea. I appreciate it. And uh, hey, everybody. Um, Paul Clay, store manager of the Fresno City College Bookstore here on campus. And I'm just going to pull up uh, my screen here and share it. All right. And uh, thanks for the time today, everybody. And uh, just want to give an update and uh, kind of get everybody on speed on what uh, what the bookstore looks like with uh, the challenges we're all having right now. Um, the first thing is we are open. We are here for you, and uh, we're accessible in a multitude of different ways. Uh, to lead off, um, you'll notice that we have a 30% coupon available to everybody that signs up to get it, uh, which is a good start to uh, uh, get the semester going in the right direction. Not eligible for books, but eligible for virtually everything else in the store, be it supplies, be it some um, cool Fresno City College uh, apparel, if you like, but uh, a good way to get off and, and run in on some stuff. Um, oh, excuse me. Again, we are here and we are open. Um, we've been open with some restricted hours, obviously with the campus being closed and, and students not being here in purpose. Uh, in person, it's, it's a little difficult to remain uh, open with our broad hours like we traditionally would. But uh, starting this week and, and going for the next three weeks, uh, with some leeway too, if, if traffic dictates, we can certainly expand those hours if necessary or keep them going a little longer. Uh, we'll be open Monday through uh, Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and uh, Friday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with being closed on the weekends. Um, if you're familiar with the campus, if not, the map's obviously here. We're in the back right quadrant in the, probably the north uh, east side of the campus, if you will, closest to the gym and tennis courts. Uh, hard to miss. We're, we're, we're really the only people here, so if you just kind of wander around, you'll run into us at some point. Um, but uh, the one place we are always 24 hours open is our uh, bookstore website that virtually gives you everything that we, we sell in the brick and mortar store here on campus is eligible um, at the website. 
And also we're connected to a bigger, broader company beyond that too. So uh, in theory, we have more access to more things on the website than we could ever have in the store for you. So definitely worth your while to check out. And the coupon that I mentioned prior is eligible for uh, online as well. So you can take advantage of that. Um, like if I mentioned, we're, we're dealing with COVID-19 and we did similar to the fall. And uh, it, was, it was a little challenging for us from the fall, but we took everything we, we did right and applied it to the semester and kind of the things that we kind of uh, fell short on and adjusted to it. So I think we're in much better shape to service the students uh, going forward. So um, how we're gonna be set up? We're gonna be set up in three different access points to the store. Uh, the front entrance, the traditional entrance, uh, is for students that uh, want to come onto the campus for whatever reason to come shopping. You'll have access to the entire store. Uh, we are limiting the amount of people to come in the store to ensure uh, safety uh, and spatial awareness. Um, so at any particular time, we'll have 21 visiting students that could be in the store at one time. It doesn't mean we turn people away. You'll just have to kind of uh, line up outside the store. But I'll tell you from the fall semester, uh, most people use the, the website, so if you are coming onto the campus, don't feel like you'll be stuck in line all day. We get you through fairly quickly and, and keep things moving uh, well. Uh, we'll have a couple other setups in the rear of the store. One access point for, will be web orders. Um, the second access point will be for voucher students. Um, so the web order, when you order online, you have the option to have it mailed to you. You have the option to come in in per person to pick it up, whatever is most convenient. Um, and, and you'll definitely see that we have signage just set up around the store to direct you where you need to go. Um, if you're a voucher student, that, that means a financial aid student that uh, whatever aid department you work with, um, some provide vouchers for you, kind of like a shopping list after you contact your counselor there. Um, we have a separate window um, with the directional signage in the back and with the help from our uh, office manager here. She's doing some pre-shopping for voucher students, so all you have to do is come by and pick it up, and I'll expand on that a little bit here in, in the PowerPoints uh, on that. Um, contact to the store, uh, the phone number is there, uh, but I'll be honest with you guys, with the three different access points, we're all kind of pushed out of the offices and away from the phones a little bit, uh, so we're not terribly reliable at the phones, to be completely honest. But the best way to stay in touch with the store and probably the quickest turnaround is with the email access, 2172mgr at fallat.com. Um, that goes directly to my computer and I check it sporadically through the entire day. Um, so if uh, you have questions or concerns on anything, hit that up and I'll either get you the answer or get you the people that, that can answer it for you. Um, a couple new things if you're coming on campus, just to make yourself aware and you can prep a little bit uh, to get it going. Um, we've reset our textbook area to shop by author. You know, um, prior it was set by section number, um, so it was a little difficult to maneuver. You need to have familiar with abbreviations of course, uh, courses and divisions. Um, then within that, you had to find your section number, so it was, it was a little tough I unless you worked here and were familiar with it. Um, now we have it set up by author, by uh, in alphabetical order. Um, so you basically will come in and just find your course materials by books and the first question you ask, well, how the heck do I know who my authors are? Um, you can do some pre-work. You'll notice the URL here at the bottom. You just type that into your computer or your phone and it'll uh, prompt you for this um, uh, access here and prompt you to type in your student ID. Once you type in your student ID, it'll, it'll uh, match up with your coursework, whatever you've registered for, and it'll pull up all your books that are, uh, your, that, uh, are uh, available through us for your courses that semester that your instructors have adopted. Um, so you, all you have to do, you can print it if you like and come in with it. Um, or when you get here, you can just uh, pull up your phone and, and pull it there and our associates will help you walk through it. But to be honest with you, it's fairly self-intuitive. And uh, just in one day with using this, some of the students have found it fairly easy to find their stuff on their own. So it's a good stuff. And when you get here, you'll notice in this top right-hand corner, we'll have a QR set up connected to the campus. Same thing, just pop up your camera, hit that code. This comes up, you type in your student ID, you're ready to go. So it makes it really quick and easy and, and the shopping experience uh, uh, much, much better, I think. Also new to this semester, is the integration with the bookstore and the campus. So if you get on your campus, or your canvas, excuse me, you'll notice a, a bookstore icon now. And once you hit that, it'll automatically populate uh, the, not only the courses, 
that you'll be taking for the semester, but it'll also show you the, the course materials that your instructors have adopted for those, those courses. So it gives you an idea of, of how much you have to get and what it looks like, um, but it also takes you right to our website and it auto-populates um, all those course materials for you. And when, once it auto-populates it, you can either opt in to purchase them if you, if you wish so, or you could remove them if you feel like that's not something you need for the course. Um, in the past, it was similar to like shopping here at the store. You got to find your section number, you got to find your course, and you, your book populates, you got to hit what option you want. Uh, but this one kind of does the shopping for you, similar to the shop by author once you're in person too. So again, uh, a, a big upgrade and a big time saver for, for all students and, and really staff here at the store. Um, so textbooks in general, we have a lot of options for you um, that uh, based on the company that we work for are, are able to, to provide for you. Um, we work directly with the faculty and the, and the instructors for these courses have been adopted since adopting for these classes since last August, if you believe it or not, and we've been working with them. This, this campus has about a 2,500 courses, and we've accounted for about 85, 88% um, of all adoptions at this point. So we're loaded and ready to go. Um, we carry all the books here. If your instructors opt in, we have them, and, and we're ready to go. Um, we have a lot of options for students based on price or based on um, how you prefer to study, if you will. I use the, the bottom right corner here, this uh, Norton Introduction to Literature, just as an example. Um, it, and this is what it looks like on the website, and this is what it'll look like if you come in person. Um, so when an instructor adopts, they adopt this new version right here. That's the ISBN they give us. And then based on the information, we're able to bring in different options for students based on uh, economical needs or preferential ways to learn. Um, so the, the new one's $97, you can see there. Um, and then within the purchase where you own it, you can buy a used version for $77 and digital for $60. So again, what you prefer to use and what you don't. Um, and then also you can rent. You can see a new one, brand new to rent is $60 and, and a rental is, is 30 on some change. It's kind of blocked a little bit so I don't see it, but you guys can see it on your end. Um, so a lot of different options to, to fulfill and, and uh, a big advantage for a lot of you. Um, financial aid use for in-store and online. Um, if you're a financial aid student with EOPS or CalWORKs or Reading Beyond, wherever it may be, uh, we work in conjunction with those, those departments and uh, you can spend your financial aid here. Um, what was new to last semester and, and again, available again this semester is being able to use the online um, for your financial aid. Um, the most, I'll use EOPS specifically because they're, they're the most populated of all the aid that we deal with. And uh, so all you have to do is, is go into uh, the book the bookstore website, shop as if you were shopping normally. And when you get to the point where you are asked for tender, um, you'll see an option for financial aid. And all at that point is you'll enter your student ID and your last four digits of your social security number just to ID you as the person that's purchasing the books. And um, once it happens, it, it tenders everything out up to your total. And if your total you know, completes the purchase, then you're good to go. Um, if it doesn't maxim or take care of the entire purchase price, it'll show you the remainder and you can pay for it how you like. I mentioned the vouchers before. Um, there are certain departments that just use a voucher system and we can't coordinate our online system with those vouchers, but that's okay. Um, CalWORKs probably being the, the, the biggest um, user of vouchers on the campus. And what we do here is we work with the counselors over at CalWORKs. They send us the vouchers um, for a pre-shop, if you will. And what, what we do here is we, we print the vouchers, we shop for the students. And once everything is compiled and pulled together, uh, we notify the students both email and phone call. And so when the students show up on campus, all you have to do is head to the voucher window in the back, tell us your name, and then we go pull all the stuff, we get you rung up, and we get you on your way too. So another way to kind of get you in, out, on, down the line. Uh, I mentioned the online order for pickup uh, in the store or mail. Uh, and of course, pickup in store is always free. Uh, we price match uh, against Amazon and any local competitors uh, within a reasonable distance, anywhere in Fresno, obviously. Um, so, you know, if you see it cheaper on Amazon, um, feel free to come in and if you've pre-purchased it already and you say, hey, I found this on Amazon at this price, 
uh, we'll match it here at the register. Um, but this is something we have to do in person, just FYI. We won't be able to match online. But you're certainly more welcome to buy it online and at your convenience come in and we'll certainly match it. Just hold on to that receipt. Um, we buy back new and used textbooks year round um, to give cash back. But uh, I will give you a little tip. Uh, the best time to sell the books back is um, towards the end of your final year. So when you're done um, with that class, get in here as quick as possible. And the reason why we do that, or I, I'll give you the tip to do that, is about that's about the time we're buying books for the next spring. And so if it's a, it's a, if an instructor has adopted the book that you own and are trying to return for a buyback, and we we look at it as something we need, we will give you the, the max amount of dollar. If you do it mid-semester or if you hold on to them for a couple of semesters, those books may not be adopted again, and we will probably buy them back, but at a lesser price, if that makes sense. But um, um, So something to definitely do. Once you're done with the book, get it to us, and, and that'll be your, your best price. Um, moving right along. Uh, rent and save, obviously the rental is, is a good deal. It's probably the cheap, cheapest version to, to do your books. And you can, the, the best call is you can treat them exactly like regular books, not to worry. Um, so all you do with rental books is when you come in, you head up to the register, or you can buy them online as rentals. Um, you will we'll get your personal information, some email, phone number, um, and you'll have to use some collateral, a credit card to use that we just hold. Um, you pay for the rental price. And then at the end of the semester, there's a due date, and just get the book back into the bookstore um, on time, and uh, everything will be fine. We just hold on to the collateral just in case somebody disappears on us, but uh, we're really flexible on that, too, and we really just want the books back uh, more than doing any sort of charges or anything like that. But uh, a good way to get books and, uh, and to uh, work cost efficiently, too. Um, used books, again, I gave you the tips on getting them back. Um, we really love used books, uh, better value for the students, great value for us because we get a lot of turn on them. Um, so we really value and get them back as, as quick as possible. And we really want used books. Used books comparison to new book purchases uh, are, are way more on the used side. So we are, we're aware of that and, and we're, I think we're in very good shape with used this semester too, guys. Um, digital, um, this is a big one for us, a big uptake. Um, we went from probably the fall of 2019 selling a dozen or two to having hundreds available um, the last semester and then going into this one. So almost virtually every title that we bring in, we have a digital option. And if you remember the previous PowerPoint page, um, it is sometimes half the price of a new book. Um, so if you're comfortable with using it online and a lot of the digital codes and access codes that we provide, your instructors can use interactively too. So it gives more options for homework and other assignments too. So really a big win-win for the student and the instructor. Um, we realize that you know, it gets some getting used to if you're comfortable with a physical book to touch and to go back and forth on. Um, you know, I went to school a million years ago and I, you know, if I had a choice without even doing research, I would probably choose physical books based on comfort. Um, but I played around with a couple of digital titles and you can do virtually everything you can do in a digital book as you can a physical book. You can go back and forth really quick. There's options to highlight. There's options to make notes. Um, so it you know, might get a little, you know, getting used to early, but you probably find it pretty functional fairly quickly. And again, that's the biggest value, really. All right. <clears throat> How to find your textbooks? I kind of beat it up, but just for one last time. Um, you have the in-store option. You can certainly come and visit us at any time. And uh, our hours are, I think, are, are pretty compatible right now. Um, and then obviously the online. And just uh, on the note, on the side here, it says required, recommended, and suggested. Um, your instructors give us these designations of how they want the their course materials to appear. Uh, required, you know, obvious that they feel that it's something you need to get through the, the course. Recommended is kind of like a supplemental uh, thing that you know you, we're not requiring you of it, but if you want to succeed, it might be a good idea to get this. And suggested, um, sometimes there's course materials that you know are kind of unique or, or helpful aids to get you where you need to go. Just as an option, uh, by no means do you need to get it, but it's up to you to decide if you need to go that way or not. Um, student aid in the bookstore, I kind of jumped ahead um, previously. Um, but um, 
there is a, most of our stuff is now available online. Again, student ID, last four of the social security numbers is all you need. Um, the, the email uh, address I gave you at the beginning, the 2172, that's the best way to get a hold of the store. If you need some um, verifications on anything, how do I use it? Am I there yet? And we'll certainly get back to you within at least an hour or two. We've been pretty good at that uh, or early the next day. Um, and then there's just some stipulations. You know, some divisions allow just textbooks. Some divisions allow textbooks and supplies. Some split it. Um, we take care of that all on our end. Um, and so when you order books, for example, if you go in, you order, you know, three textbooks that you require, and then you throw in a couple binders or mails and try to apply it. Um, it'll allow you to apply it to textbooks, but it will not allow you to apply it to supplies unless your division or your, your department for aid has allowed it. So um, there's all kinds of different stipulations depending on what it is. But again, if you have questions, um, let us know. And in the, the financial aid sprinkles into us. We got a big um, uh, student dump yesterday uh, from EOPS. It was about 1,100 or so students. But we've already gotten a couple other supplemental lists. So if you're not there yet, um, might be worth it to hang tight for a couple of days and see if you drop in. But by all means, you know, communicate to us and we'll we'll let you know specifically if you're there or not yet, uh, and what direction to go at that point. Um, lastly, you know, some of the fun stuff we talked about a lot of the books and the course materials. But we are loaded with a lot of cool Fresno City gear uh, for the for the fall semester, and we're actually getting in some spring stuff. So. The fall stuff's going to be a little heavier, some of the jackets, some of the sweaters, uh, so on and so forth. But some of the newer stuff that's coming in is some of the lighter uh, in anticipation of the spring. It's always, you know, three months ahead of time leading into the season, in which you can see a little bit down the line. Um, so if you're waiting for the cooler stuff, we do have a lot of it from the previous semesters, but uh, there's a lot of new stuff coming in behind it. So uh, if you're looking for that stuff, even though you're on campus, we, we definitely have it. You can get it online. You can come in in person and grab some cool stuff, too. So definitely take advantage of it. And if you periodically check in online, we have a lot of good deals. During Christmas and holiday, we're dropping some 25% off, some 30% off, too. Um, so worth it to kind of peek in every now and again to see what's going on there. Um, so that's kind of the, the bookstore in a nutshell, guys. Um, again, I really encourage you to take care of that 30% off. Um, it's a one-time use, but jump on it. And I also really encourage you to reach out to us for any questions we're here for you. And uh, we know it's kind of an odd times and everything else, but uh, uh, I think we can take care of any, any needs for this upcoming spring semester. All right, that's all I got. Uh, Andrea? Yes, questions? thank you. Thank you, Paul. We did get one question um, from Diana, and she's asking, what's the bookstore scholarship and how do we apply? So that, and um, correct me, Paul, um, your knowledge is probably as much as mine, but if you apply for scholarships after you complete your FAFSA and you are looking for other ways to um, pay for your expenses, such as your books or any other supplies or materials you need, you can apply for scholarships through Fresno City College. Um, those scholarships have a deadline. I believe it's March 2nd. It is listed on the financial aid webpage. And if you are awarded one of those scholarships, you'll be able to use it in the bookstore. So it's not a scholarship that the bookstore does. It's a scholarship that Fresno City and the um, State Center Community College Foundation offers and you are allowed to use it within the bookstore. Is that right, Paul? You guys yep. just help. Okay, perfect. So yep. that's how you apply, Diana, for scholarships. Go to the Fresno City College website, um, search financial aid, and it will list their financial aid and scholarship application on their website. Good question. Yes, is there any other questions that you have students about um, the bookstore? This presentation will be recorded, so we're going to post it on our RAM Ready webpage at the end of the week. And we'll also post the PowerPoint that Paul is providing here as well. So you'll be able to scroll through it, um, sign up for that um, discount by getting that webpage. Uh, but yeah, we'll have all this information available for you at the end of the week. So. Yes, if you have any other questions uh, for Paul, you can go ahead and either unmute yourself and ask those questions or you can post them in the chat um, and we'll answer those for you here. And Paul, those hours that you showed at the beginning, that's happening now, right? You guys are open right now? 
Yeah, we are. Started this Monday, and, and we'll go as long as the foot traffic dictates, and we'll we'll pull back at some point once uh, everything's got their stuff and they're ready to roll. So, but we will be open all semester for sure. We'll be at festival at some point. Great. So students, if you have not purchased your books already or you're wanting to compare your books or see what is needed for your courses, I know some of you were in the um, library and tutorial session earlier. So while they do have some textbooks available to loan out um, on reserve where you can make copies of them or get digital copies, this would be purchasing or renting your book here from the bookstore. Um, so, you know, you can view that information in your Canvas or your web advisor as Paul was going through in the presentation so that you can kind of get ahead of the game and see what it would cost you to purchase your books. Uh, we have another question. Are most books available or is there a delay due to COVID? No, actually, to be honest with you, since we've been on campus, this is probably the best in stock we've been. Um, but I think what you're alluding to is delivery delays. And there's there's probably a handful of books, but everything's on order. And if there is a book that we currently don't on hand have on hand, which is a very small percent, to be honest, um, you can certainly pre-purchase it. And as soon as it comes in, we'll call you. But this is another advantage of shopping online, too, um, because if we don't readily have it, um, it will get circulated amongst the company. And if another campus has it, it will be shipped from that particular store to you directly, even if we don't have it here at the store in stock. So um, a couple of options for you, but uh, everything, we're in really good shape for the semester. Awesome. And students, yes, I will say um, I had a daughter who utilized this last semester and it was really easy. She got online, ordered the books, picked them up. Um, the bookstore was even really helpful in if somebody couldn't pick up the book, they just had to have proper you know, documentation that they were allowed to pick it up for her. It was a really great service. So um, they're very, they're here to help. They're very helpful. They're very accommodating. So, you know, take advantage of that, get your books um, book order in early and make sure you're prepared for the semester. Yeah. Any other questions? Go ahead, Paul. No, it's, uh, thank you, Andrea. You know, that's a good point, guys. I know nine to five sometimes doesn't suit everybody's uh, work schedules and things, but we're here, you know, 637 in the morning till about 536 at night. And if somebody needs to come in early to pick something up or somebody comes in a little later, then we can certainly accommodate. So just again, just reach out to us and, and we'll, we'll take care of that. Great students, are there any more questions for Paul from the bookstore um, or for the event in general that uh, you have that maybe we didn't answer in any of our other sessions? This will pretty much conclude Paul's presentation. So if you uh, receive the information that you need, you are more than welcome to hit leave and um, leave this meeting. Otherwise, if you have questions, go ahead and ask them. We'll give it a few more minutes and, and just give you the opportunity to ask those questions if you need. I see we have about one, two, about five or six students. So yeah, we're here to help you if you need any. You have a great semester, Diana. I just wanted to say thank you to all the presenters. I've been attending all the meetings. So I'll be there tomorrow and the next day also. Awesome. Thank you for joining, Elena. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And for our last couple students that we have here, Targender, or um, we don't have a name for the other one, but the 559 number, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask or post them in the chat. Or if you are um, finished, then you can go ahead and click leave on the button on your Zoom.
Okay, Paul, I think we can go ahead and stop recording now. Okay.